Are you a freelancer or an agency owner struggling to get new clients for your Google Ads? In this video, I'm going to share my top tips on how to acquire new clients. Hello, my name is Suzair and thanks for joining in. In this video, I'm going to show you how uh, we acquire new clients for our agency and I'm going to give you my uh, top tips to get new clients. But before I get started, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then please do so. We upload content on a pretty much on a daily basis. And if you hit the bell button as well, then you'll be one of the first ones to be notified when we upload any new content or video. Okay, so let's get this video started as to how to get new clients for your Google Ads. The first thing I look at is the niche. This is pretty important because some niches are extremely competitive and not very profitable. And when I say profitable is the front end offer, it's impossible to make a profit on the front end, but they will have um, the back end where they make the money. And quite often clients get very nervous when they see that I've spent so much money and on my first conversion or transaction, I've not made any money. So as long as you can explain um, manage the client expectations then that's fine but if you struggle with that then I would advise you to avoid those niches so the first of all is finding those niche how do you find these um, industries or uh, these uh, category of uh, of uh, businesses is just by going on Google put in the keyword emergency dentist locksmith accountants, plumbers, there are lots of these uh, uh, companies or industries where you you want to go in and offer your services. So go in the on Google, search for these uh, keywords and you will find that there's four ads pop up at the top and some at the bottom of the page. If you don't find any ads, uh, then that means, well, there's, it means two things. First of all, uh, that niche or industry is not allowed on Google. And the other one is advertisers aren't advertising because it's not very profitable or it may not be very uh, profitable for them. So you want to avoid them if there aren't any. But if you see lots of ads or four ads popping up, then you know that there is a market for these clients and you can potentially go after after them. Then you can also look at magazines, newspapers, um, national or local, uh, publications, trade magazines, etc. to see who is advertising on there. If they're advertising in magazines and newspapers, then they can they probably will be advertising on Google as well. So those are the kind of companies you want to go after. So a company who's advertising a full page uh, ad, in a magazine compared to a small box ad may be better for you because that company is willing and able uh, to spend uh, money on advertising and they they value that the bigger the ad is the more uh, customers and branding uh, they may be able to uh, generate. Uh, the third thing is do you have any inside a knowledge of an industry so if you've been working with an accountant or a dentist or a plumber you know the inside uh, uh, workings of that niche how they work how they get clients what are the pain points what are the struggles and then you all you need to do is to just address those uh, pain points now google is where there's high intent we only go to google when we have a pain point and we are looking for a solution to our pain and if you have that solution you are going to make money so the same thing applies over here you know if you if you've been working with an accountant and you know that all these accountants they don't have any uh, great online presence they struggle with blogging the content marketing video marketing Google Ads Facebook and so on then you are in the right place at the right time and you offer that service uh, to that company or companies and I'm 
pretty certain that you are going to get some really good results from it. Now, finding that right niche is fair enough, but um, finding profitable niches is extremely important. And what I mean by that is this. You need to look for industries or niches where you have got returning and recurring uh, customers and transactions. Let's say, take for example, uh, a dentist. Everybody needs to go to a dentist on a regular basis. Accountants. Every business owner needs an accountant and they need him or her on a regular monthly, quarterly or yearly basis to do their accounts and the taxes. And for these kind of businesses, the customer lifetime value is pretty high because we just don't go to them for once. We'll go multiple times. And then a, a business who has been established long enough, they will know how often a customer comes back to them, how much they spend with them. So you want to go after those uh, customers because if you get a dentist or an accountant, one client, it may be worth thousands or tens of thousands of dollars uh, worth to them compared to somebody like an emergency locksmith. How often do we lose our keys? How often do we need to call somebody to you know, uh, get us into our homes or cars because we've lost the keys? Not very often. Perhaps maybe once in five years or ten years. I can't remember the last time I needed to call a locksmith. So in, in that industry, there's only pretty much a one-off or a one transaction uh, for these companies. So they need to make sure that the acquisition costs are pretty low because they don't have a back-end offer or something to sell, to sell uh, afterwards. So that's what I mean by profitable niche. Um, go to Google, find existing uh, advertisers in Google Ads, and you are going to find a lot of bad ads and ads which are not relevant to your search term. So, for example, if you have searched for a business uh, headshots or you need, are looking for, let's say, business headshots to use on your social media profiles or LinkedIn, etc. And someone's uh, ad pops up for a wedding photography. That's completely irrelevant to what I was searching. So when you find these kind of um, uh, businesses, you can then send them an email, go to their website, send them an email and say, look, I search for a business headshot and your wedding photography offer popped up. Now, you will be wasting a lot of money on irrelevant clicks. Your ads may not be very profitable. And I can help you with this. Now, if I receive an email like this out of the blue and out of the nowhere, I'm going to look at it. And first of all, I'll be pleased that somebody has bothered to send me an email um, to stop me wasting money. And if I'm running my own ads, that means I'm not running it properly. Or if I'm using an agency or a freelancer, now I know that they're not doing a good job. So I will probably be looking to change. And I will most likely reply back with either uh, thank you for your email or no thanks. But at least you are in there. You've got one step through the door. So find all these uh, companies with really bad ads and you'll find loads and loads of them. Extensions are not being used. Um, the Google's uh, best practices for writing an ad is not being, uh, being used on these ads. So you need to do a little bit of work and you will find the results from these efforts which you're going to put in is going to generate a lot of new clients for yourself. And again, putting up a bit of work up front will result in uh, more customers for you. And another way of doing this is by you giving out uh, free audits. So promote 
your free audits, offer your free audits to companies who have got these bad ads, um, really bad ads running, and say, look, I'm happy to hop on a call or if you give me access to your account, I will give you a detailed and a free audit as to how we can improve your campaign performance and profitability of your account. Um, you can't charge for these because very few people will be willing uh, to pay for these audits. But in my opinion and my experience, I would say free audit works really well. So you need to find problems or leakages in the account where they are wasting money, leaking money. Quite often we find that the conversion tracking is not set up properly, negative keywords are not being used extensively, and extensions uh, are not being used. So just by pointing out these little things and making a list and giving them a, an audit that, you know, just by making these changes or doing these uh, things in your account will increase in the profitability and the performance of your account uh, is going to make me as a client feel and feel good that wow, somebody knows what they're talking about, they knows what they're doing, I need to get some help and I'm probably going to sign up with them. Another way you can find work is through these freelancing websites like Upwork and Fiverr, these are the two biggest ones. But there are many other as well, which you can uh, go on, set up your uh, profile. And obviously, you can start uh, pitching uh, for your uh, for working uh, with, with potential clients on there. The last one, which is my favorite and the best of all the tips which I've just given you so far, is video marketing. Um, you're watching my video, you're consuming my content. As you can see that there is a call to action along the, the bottom of the screen uh, with a website URL where we are driving traffic to. Hopefully somebody will sign up to our free uh, masterclass and discover who we are, what we do. So we put these videos on lots of different places, not only just on YouTube, but on Facebook, Instagram, um, where else? LinkedIn, TikTok, Google My Business. Um, I believe we upload to about 30 to 35 different uh, social media networks and websites. Put the content out there, put our expertise, because the beauty with video marketing is you do the work once. And once the video starts to get the, uh, the views rolling, uh, it just keeps on growing and growing and you get more and more people watching your videos over a period of time. The only way to stop that is when you delete these uh, videos from these uh, social channels or YouTube, which you don't want to do, of course. So we've been doing video marketing for the last four years very aggressively. We generate all our new clients and leads from YouTube, most uh, specifically from um, YouTube. But all these other channels like Facebook, Instagram, and so on, they do assist because we can do remarketing or video remarketing over there as well. What I mean by that is anyone who has been to my landing page or to my website, we've got all the pixels on there. You know, we've got the pixel for Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, obviously Google. And then we can go out and reach out to them um, in one go uh, using the power of remarketing. So video marketing is one of the most, the best uh, way, cheapest, most economical and the fastest way to, to promote your business, build up your brand, your expertise, and to generate uh, more leads and sales. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'd really appreciate if you uh, give a little thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. So I appreciate your time with me uh, today and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.